We see that more and more Reavers are coming up. Boxer is just about to begin his push. Lots of Dragoons outside waiting for this. But these tanks are going to be Siege. Not sure who's going to win. There's a lot more Dragoons at this point. But it seems that he, uh, Bisu is going to retreat. I thought that Bisu would be able to destroy that attack force by Boxer. But Boxer does have the ramp advantage of high ground. And he had some reinforcements at the back ready to siege. And we see another shuttle with speed is going to start dropping its contents of po probably another reaver and maybe some zealot bombs or zealots or dragoons. And so we say that the boxer's push is starting to go over here. Bisu is being forced to retreat. Oh, one second. Bisu is being forced to retreat. And I saw a citadel, citadel of Adun for Bisu. Bisu's new expansion at the island is starting to go underway. And some mines are being placed everywhere. Vultures are also going around the map. Uh, mining line. Uh, uh, putting mines everywhere. And you see that Boxer's teammates are pretty happy of what they're seeing right now. Because a lot of mines are here. Uh, there's an observer here. But these mines are still detonating. One dragoon goes down. Boxer is attacking with his vulture. He's not mining any. He's not mine. Uh, he's not uh, putting any mines down. So he did waste uh, quite a few vultures right there. <coughs> he did manage to pick off quite a lot of dragoons as he sieged his tanks as his vultures were attacking. Now we see two shuttles over here. I think this shuttle has some zealot bombs in them. That's what they're called because. Basically, you un unload them so they they get hit by mines and tanks splash and they die. I just saw a boxer's coach there. He's very happy of what's going on right now. And it's very strange. I think that Bisu was unloading probes. Uh, that's not very good because probes are mines don't attack worker units, and so it only be splash from the tanks. And a Templar Archives is coming up for um, <coughs> Bisu. This tank push is also going up for uh, <coughs> Boxer. Boxer. <coughs> Boxer is laying mines everywhere, starting to siege his tanks, and pressuring Bisu to make a lot of units. Now we see that Boxer is going to have some trouble getting up this ramp, but he is starting to get up. His units, um, including some his vultures, did manage to get up, lay a few mines. Mines did not detonate. We're not close enough to those dragoons. But these tanks are providing covering fire for these um, vultures. Some tanks get up, and they are going to start sieging on the ramp. These dragoons are trying to flank as best as possible. They are doing pretty well, taking out a lot of units for Boxer. Bisu is doing pretty well with his small amount of units. <coughs> And we see that Boxer is probably going to attempt to expand again at the part, at the place where he failed to. And we see High Templar here, as I was talking about earlier. High Templar will be able to storm or possibly merge into Archons. Archons are definitely not the best choice, though, as Vultures do full damage against shields, and tanks also do lots of damage to them. Now we see that Missile Turrets are being created. These are going to fend off Observers as well as Dark Templars, but I have not seen Dark Templars. These tanks are finally managing to get up. These vultures are also getting up, and these these dragoons are going down. High Templars over here. They are going to storm. Don't They're not storming yet, though. These vultures are over here. Uh, Goliaths are also here, too. Uh, two storms went out. Uh, did not get many enemy units, but they did manage to pick off a Goliath or two. These Goliaths are here to fend off those shuttles, and the shuttle does go down. A mine has been placed right where a reaver would spawn, so when a reaver spawns, it will be hit by that mine. But a zealot did manage to take the damage from the mine. And we see that uh, Bisu is doing this pretty well, attracting the mines to do splash damage to their own uh, people. But a Dark Templar is out. This the, These uh, units will be able to kill it, though, because there's a missile turret here. Bisu is definitely going to have to keep pumping units as efficiently as possible. He's getting a lot of zealots. He is doing quite well against this uh, push by Boxer, but Boxer is continuing to pump units as well. Going to continue his push 
and he is not under pressure. These units are doing a lot of damage. Bisu is kind of running out of minerals. He has a Dark Templar around here, but it was killed by two mines. Now there's more Zealots coming in. They're going to start killing some stuff, whatever, and uh, uh, I think that Boxer is doing pretty well getting another missile turret. And uh, a Reaver has been created, does not have any Scarabs yet, and Boxer is not focused on firing on it. He just saw that uh, Reaver Scarab, though. He needs to take out that Reaver. What is he doing? Don't know. He killed a SCV who managed to die. Or the Reaver managed to pick off that SCV. Now, these vultures will kill that Reaver. The Reaver does go down. And now there's no units for Bisu in his main. This main, if it goes down, it will pretty much be GG because um, all of his tech buildings and gateways are in there. And we see that the expansion for Bisu is not doing much. And GG! Oh, very well played by Boxer. Um, Bisu teched too fast and too quickly in the beginning. Did not do many, did pretty much no damage with his Reavers. So he did lose, and Boxer did manage to get another win under his belt. Doing very well in the pre Pro League so far. Great job, Boxer. Harry Pooh, Harry Pooh, Harry Pooh.